part of that, um, Renaissance Full Day Kindergarten, and I, and I had spoken with uh, the chair um, back, but I wanted to wait for the deliberative session. Uh, we have a FLES program that we're going to need to implement. That's foreign language in elementary school. So this evening, uh, what, I, what I'm looking for in terms of the FLES program, what I'd be looking for is a consultant that would write the curriculum, would help hire the teacher, and would supervise the teachers, would go to the four schools to make sure that this program is implemented with fidelity. And we don't have that person on staff. That's why I'm speaking consultant. One, to write the curriculum. Two, to make sure. What did you um, call it? A FLES program? It's a FLES. It's foreign language in the elementary school. Okay. Uh, currently, um, uh, and then this is in the spirit of transparency, you know, my wife writes FLES curriculum, and I'm not suggesting that. But there, isn't a, there aren't a lot of options here because uh, I've I pursued this. So I wanted to make you aware of that. And so I asked her, she's on the Ceresk list of consultants, if that was the route we wanted to go. We wanted them to put together a proposal. I can tell you I'd have to talk her into doing it if that was the way you wanted me to go. If you say, no, that's not good because it's your wife, that's fine too. Uh, that would probably be just whatever you want to do. It. But I'm looking for your direction here because I, I need to secure some funding out of this year to get this in place so that we're ready to go on the first day of school next year. I think um, if we're going to do this and commit to it, we want to do it the right way. Right. And I think if that's if what you're saying is, is the best way to do it, then I think that's how we should do it. Now, as far as whether or not uh, it's your wife or someone else, I would leave that in your hands uh, to select the, the person that you feel is the best person uh, to represent uh, or to, to drive this program. Well, here, here's what I can tell you, and, and not because it's my wife. My wife um, <coughs> you know, taught Spanish for many years and uh, has done this in many affluent communities in Massachusetts. Right? And so we came to New Hampshire. I said, well, it's something you wanted to try to do here. So she's doing work currently in Massachusetts. Um, but I did say I would bring it to the board if we ever got to that point. And I, I can tell you, I can tell you for sure that it would be at a much less cost than it would be if I hired somebody else. I'd be asking her to do an awful lot you know I'm asking her to go to every school every week you know to meet with this teacher to make sure you know this program is going to need some super, it's going to need direct supervision and I can't necessarily count and not that they couldn't do it but you know um, I having had language programs where I don't speak the language I had a very hard time evaluating and supervising French teachers and Mandarin teachers and I needed someone that spoke those languages mm -hmm. and did it well uh, and I think this poor this program in its infancy is going to need that kind of supervision, the person that wrote the curriculum, that helped hire the teacher and support, and this person is going to be traveling to four schools. This, this individual Spanish teacher next year in our four kindergartens is going to need a tremendous amount of support. Also, there's going to need someone to work with the four principals in these schools to make sure that their, that their um, schedules allow this person to deliver these services in the schools. You know, are they in one school, you know, full day, or are they in half schools, you know? Uh, so I want to make sure. My hope would be even if we can, no, we haven't hired the person yet, so I don't want this to be a detractor when we have our job fair, but uh, you know, we're going to offer to the full day kindergarten, and if there's additional time while they're at the site, I want to offer to the half day kindergarten mm -hmm. as well. I don't want to limit this because when they go to first grade, I want to make sure that all kids had, had the same opportunity. Um, so that, that, that will be tricky. It's going to be full day kindergarten first because it's part of the revenue that was generated, but I think if we can extend that opportunity, even if it was you know, one day a week or something along those, like half an hour a week or something, just so all the kids have some exposure to, to the language. Um, so that's that's where that is. I, and like I said, I, I'd have to talk her somewhat into it. I, I wanted to uh, put out a request for proposal just to see, you know, what it, what it would cost and, and to do it right. Um, so, But I wanted your direction, and I certainly wanted to be transparent about the fact that if I go to Ceresk, they're going to say, well, here's the one person we have in the state of New Hampshire that does it. Oh, by the way, you might recognize your last name because it's the same as yours. Um, so, and I, I don't know of anybody else that does it. That's why you know people in Mass still you know are calling in terms. Of, it's it's a relatively new, uh, you know, this FLES program. So, uh, entirely up to you. You direct me however you'd like. Anyone want to make any? Yeah, I concur with you, Mr. Chairman. But Thank you, Mrs. W Mr. Ward. I think I think uh, they have a lot more in it. Where. It's your wife doing it. I feel as though she would leave us hanging. And then she can't stay at home. She doesn't work for me. Right? <laughs> How's it going to look at it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't win that one, so it's like, no good here. You could she doesn't get this channel at home. We don't really have to. <laughs> <laughs>
Mrs. Stevenson. Yeah, Vimeo. <laughs> Just to point out, am I correct that our previous assistant superintendent had a spouse who was employed as a teacher? So there's precedent here. It, it, this is not groundbreaking or shocking to me in any way. So I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it. Very good. Mr. Bila. So um, how long do you envision us needing this consultant? I think it would be on a year-to-year -year basis. So I think for the first year, absolutely. And then it would probably scale out. You know, so it would probably be a lot more in year one, and then as we built the program out, it may maybe not at all, but if they, you know, wrote the curriculum for grade one, grade two, and so forth. So I would think, you know, on a sliding scale, that I think the first year would be the most important, which is, which would be from not necessarily tonight, but would be real soon, you know, through our job fair in March, through uh, mm -hmm. you know that first week of school, and then and then to be checking in weekly with the, with this particular teacher because it's a very very challenging position to be in four schools you know i know sometimes people struggle being in two so it's um we're trying to be you know once again most respectful to the, what the cost is and yet offer the very very best um, service so anything else very good i think it's All right, clear so i'll get a proposal together should i go i should go through sares right do you think that's the best way Whatever you think or feel is the best way, I think, is what we're supporting. So, yeah. honestly, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know enough about it to, to say otherwise. So it would probably be most appropriate. The two options are if you go through Suresk, they're going to give you a courtesy discount, right? They give you a price. Your other option is go straight to the source. Well, that, that was the thing in, uh, in, in going straight to the source. And, and Suresk was, pers pers uh, was fine with us going straight to the source. But I, I wanted this to be clean and done correctly. That's you what know, I'm I thinking. I didn't want it to be messy where. Yeah. My wife is directly billing the district. I'd rather, in, in, you know, like I said, Sarasca had been great uh, with her. It's all about avoiding board, but you never want the appearance of impropriety. Right. Avoiding and, and, and this would keep us from that misunderstanding that people could possibly have. Great. Sounds good. All right, so we'll, I'll, I'll get working on that. Great. Well, Very you. exciting. Um, I don't know, you don't have the, the numbers in